Uh, my name is Jun Hua Ding. I'm a professor uh, in data science uh, with Department of Information Science. I take this opportunity to talk about our data science uh, education and research opportunity. So now we have a very comprehensive uh, data science program, including Bachelor of Science in Data Science. And now we have uh, more than 150 students involved in the program. We have two um, professional fields. One is in information science, the other one in uh, business analytics. We also have a accelerated uh, program uh, in, uh, that is a bachelor of data science and a master of data science together that can be complete within five years. We also have a master program, uh, Master of the Science in Data Science. And uh, now we are offer also uh, double major, uh, including Master of Science in uh, Biomedical Engineering, as well as um, uh, Master in Science of Data Science. Now we have two uh, graduate academic, uh, academic um, certificate program, one in general data science, the other one in uh, big data and uh, intelligence systems. And uh, we now have uh, more than uh, 600 actually, uh, at the fall of 2022, we have uh, 662 students. Um, we also have a PhD in information science with a concentration in data science. Uh, enjoyed with uh, 36 students. And this program now offered in both Denton campus as well as uh, preschool campus. Now, I was hired as a first full-time data science faculty member in 2018. So we slowly grew to the two, three, four. Now we have uh, 10 faculty members in data science program. We will have uh, two more uh, faculty we're joining our program in fall uh, 2013, and we have five positions now opening. That's great. Now, our data science program also well sponsored by external research grants. And uh, now here we list several of these grants. Our faculty members serve as uh, PI or co-PIs. Uh, this is not all the uh, grants, um, but all related to data science and um, data science research and uh, education. So we have at least uh, probably we have 11 um, external grants. That's pretty amazing, yeah, impressive. But we look at here actually, we don't have any uh, industry uh, collaboration grants. So we are here actually looking for a collaboration opportunity with our industry partners. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about my research, uh, current active uh, research project. The first one is about software alumni detection using deep learning. This is also uh, funded by National Science, uh, uh, by uh, NSA. Um, so the idea is very simple. First, we uh, encode, encode the system events into the sentences. And then we use a language model Basically, we use a large language model such as BERT to embedding the sentences into vectors and with a fine turning technique. The second, of course, we classify uh, the sentences into a long, uh, a long more, uh, So, but the most challenging work here is about how we collect a qualified um, data to train the model, right? the deep learning model, how to label this uh, system sequence and to, um, to train the model as well. So now, since about 30 years ago, uh, DAPA as well as National Science Foundation um, uh, invested in more than uh, several million dollars uh, to try to collect the data. And I believe there are no any significant results actually generated so far. We actually using semi-supervised learning as well as generative uh, learning method to generate large amount of the high quality data. And uh, we published, uh, our student and I actually published several journal paper related to uh, this topic. Now, second project is about automated software testing using large language model. 
And because I have been doing a software engineer research for more than 30 years. So the idea here is first, how to find the large language models such as CodeXO, or ChatGPT, or GPT-3, GPT-4, whatever, and the two for the test generation, automated test generation, basically here, more focus on unit test. But the idea is how we automated evaluate the adequacy of the test or generated test. That's here say, okay, you generate test cases, but how is that good enough or sufficient? We need a mechanism to automate and evaluate that test cases, such as the conditional coverage, right? The decision coverage, the past coverage, the state coverage. Uh, basically, my focus is on MCDC, modified condition and decision uh, coverage. Now, then how we produce or produce adequate testing. Now we using, yeah, because I, I, I probably one of the earliest research to integrate that metamorphic testing as well as combinatory testing to test the deep learning models that uh, result published in uh, 2017, IEEE transaction on big data. Now, uh, here we actually also try to integrate, how to integrate the metamorphic testing and the combinatory testing to the large language model and to generate the unit test that to meet that adequacy criteria to test deep learning mode. Now, but the, my most interesting project now is about uh, research on uh, broadening participation of Hispanic student in computing. This research uh, just recently sponsored by National Science Foundation. So now, if we look at our uh, enrollment in data science, now our undergraduate data science has about 14% of the Hispanics. Now, the master program among these 668 students, 62 students, two are Hispanics. Now 36 PhD in information science with a concentration in data science, no Hispanics. Okay, that's the fact. But we know that, however, Hispanic students, they're not just a group uniform, right? So I, 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 I live in uh, Miami for, ADS. I never thought Hispanic actually is underrepresented in STEM group because if you look at uh, Cuban uh, American here, right, they never actually had this problem. But what's happening for others? Okay. So we connect data and try to answer some questions. Now we also want to using uh, data driven method to understand what actually caused the disparity. We talk about uh, social economic, we talk about family reason, we talk about couch, but really we always can find the uh, the the counter examples that right probably not that case. So the real case must be much more complex than what we thought. So we want to uh, further investigate this risk. Now, how we address the problem? Uh, we proposed that project to ASF, then they sponsored the money will be used to do something, right? Now, we actually doing this from three parts. First, uh, we actually try to integrate industry um, driven method into the curriculum. And we also provide guide elective guide research to our student. This specifically talk about undergraduate student in data science. And we also uh, try to adopt maybe new pedagogy, such as uh, um, the personalized learning flipped classroom, this type of uh, new uh, pedagogy that already proved could be uh, an effective method to attract the uh, students or improve the learning quality. Now, also we want to uh, try to uh, couch that diversity and inclusion uh, couch. So that we try to 
uh, maybe provide some training or boot camp for our faculty as well as students. So hopefully this strategy may bring some positive impact to improve the participation of the Hispanic student in computing as well as in data science.